This video was brought to you by Skillshare. Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about iOS 10.3.2, which was released to everybody who has an iPhone capable of running iOS 10 earlier today. Now before today, when iOS 10.3.2 was still in its testing phase, there really wasn't a whole lot to talk about. There still aren't any outward facing features or changes, still no new wallpaper, so there's nothing too exciting, nothing to get hyped about. But a lot behind the scenes did change, and as Apple says in the change log, iOS 10.3.2 includes bug fixes and improves the security of your iPhone or iPad. They always leave out the iPod Touch, but maybe it will get put back in there one day. Now let's go ahead and talk about what actually changed. Like iOS 10.3.1, this update really focuses on security, and iOS 10.3.1 corrected an issue with Wi-Fi. iOS 10.3.2 has so many different security fixes, so I would highly recommend updating as soon as possible because it's always better to be safe on the latest firmware. I want to read off a short list of some things that were impacted before today. So first up is iBooks, and this one's really interesting because I would probably probably freak out if it happened. Uh, before iOS 10.3.2, if you installed a quote, maliciously crafted book, it may have been able to open random websites without your permission. So imagine installing a book on your phone and websites in Safari popping up. That would be super weird and extremely unsettling, so I'm glad to see that fixed. Moving on through the rest of these security changes, there's one thing that keeps popping up that I think is really important to note. A lot of these changes mention improved memory handling, meaning that the RAM on your device should work better than before. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a developer, so I don't know everything that RAM entails and how it works with the backend in iOS and how applications go to and from it and share memory at the same time. That's not my thing. All I know is that RAM is important to your phone working properly. And the fact that so many security updates fix that and improve it means that your iOS device should work better than before. I don't know how much of an impact that's gonna have have because it's noted quite a few places, I just know that changes are present and you may notice a difference as far as your RAM performance goes. Now before we continue on with the rest of the video, I want to go ahead and take just a second to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 15,000 classes with topics ranging from design or photo to cooking and practically everything else in between. Since I really like doing video stuff, I found these two really cool classes that I'm totally checking out. One is like how to shoot better video with your iPhone and another class is creative cinematography one. There is seriously going to be a class for everybody and membership starts at just $10 a month. Anybody can take a class or try a project and if you're really feeling it, you can even become a teacher yourself. If you guys want to try a two month free trial, you can actually use my code iUpdateOS down below in the description and get two months free just to try out the service and see if it's even worth it. From what I've seen so far, it totally is and I cannot recommend it enough. If you're ready to learn something new or pick up a new hobby, you should definitely check out Skillshare. Now continuing on with our list of security updates, near the end of the list we see a lot of changes having to do with WebKit. Basically making it more secure if you go to a page that isn't secure that is quote, I love this phrase too, malicious maliciously crafted, basically if they're trying to hack your device or make your phone glitch out, it's going to be more secure. It's not going to fix every single issue known to man, but WebKit in general should be a lot safer now. And the last thing that I want to note about iOS 10.3.2 could totally be the placebo effect and I could just be thinking this, so call me out if I'm wrong but I feel like it is the best and most smooth version of iOS that we have seen to date. Everything flows in and out and it feels like there's butter in between the screen and my finger. It is incredibly smooth and I'm running it on an iPhone 7 so I could be a little bit biased, but I'm interested to hear your thoughts on the update overall. Do you think it's better for your iPhone? Let me know how battery life is. Are you experiencing any bugs still? Are you glad to see that iOS 10.3.2 is finally here? If you enjoyed today's video, I would really appreciate it and it would help the channel out if you hit that like button down below and of course, subscribe for more content like this in the future. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you guys later.